Recently, ChatGPT has been trending and it has received over 1 million views in 5 days. There have been a lot of controversies about it. The major one is, it is a threat to Google. But can it displace Google? you find out in this video and how to use it. If this is your first time of watching my video, I made video tutorials on SEO, just like the one you're watching right now, blogging tips and how to make money online. So subscribe to this channel to get a notification whenever I make new videos. I have used ChatGPT, and I can clearly say for now, it is not try to cover in terms of getting answers to a question. Here are the reasons. 1. ChatGPT provides answers to questions fast and short. Google does so too in the future snippets and people also ask. ChatGPT has limitations to what it can answer. Google, on the other hand, has no limitations to answers to a question. The major setback of ChatGPT is it has no trust factor. It provides answers without referencing or sources. How can you know if you chose the right answer to a question? That is a major issue. No trust factor. Google is what it is today because of the users. As the normal users, they still prefer using Google to chat GBT. Chat GBT will be the home of freelancers. So tell me, where is the threat? God said, let's go into the application of chat GBT in SEO. Let's say you have a car insurance blog and you want to write an article for the blog. So you can ask ChatGPT to generate keyword ideas or topics for your car insurance blog. So what you're going to type here is list of long tail keyword for a car insurance blog. So it is generating keywords. So it's generating keywords ideas. Generating keyword ideas for insurance for a car insurance blog. Let's say you want more ideas or you want more keywords. You can say you can you can type here more more keywords. So it has generated a total of a total of 20 keywords for a car insurance blog. Alternatively, when you are typing this, you can just say list 50 long take keywords for a car insurance plan to list 50 keywords. If you want it to be 100, you type 100. Then after it has done that, you can scroll through the list of Keywords that are provided and select the one you want you to write an article, an article on it. But before I write an artic article on it, I would like to generate an outline for any of these topics I wish you to write for me. So what I'm going to do is, okay, I'll, I'll ask you to generate an outline for number three. Generate outline. For three. So you can you see that generated outline for number three. What does comprehensive car insurance cover? So this is it. What does comprehensive car cover uh, car insurance cover? So it has generated an outline for this keyword. So what I'm going to do is to tell ChatGPT to write an article using the outline. So I'm going to say, maybe let's say you wanted to write 1,000 words article, write it, write 1,000 words article on the outline, or write 1,000 words total, write a total of 1,000 words 
for the article, for the outlines. Or you can say 2,000. So it depends on what you want, the, the, how you want the content to belong. So I'm going to say, write So it has written a 500 words on this topic. What does comprehensive car insurance cover? So after it, it has done that, all you have to do is to copy, copy this article and paste on your blog. And paste on your blog. After you've done that, let's say you want to generate, let's say, a frequently asked question for this topic. Or for this, or for this article, you type on ChatGPT, generate FAQ for the article. FAQ is frequently asked question for the article. You can see that it has started generating FAQ for the article. So what you're going to do is, after it has generated FAQ for your article, all you have to do again is to copy it. Then generate about five, generate five FAQs for your article. What you're going to do is to copy it and paste for your blog post and paste on your blog post. Once you've done that, don't publish your blog post. Go through it, edit it to know if there's any grammatical errors and also check if some facts are right. Check if some facts written in the article are right. Add images when necessary and interlink when necessary also. Then also, for the topic, let, let's look at the topic. You can also use ChatGPT to generate a cache topic, a clickbait topic, or any topic that can, or a topic that can make a user to click on a particular post. So let's go through the topic. The topic is, what does car, what does comprehensive car insurance cover? So we're going to ask ChatGPT to generate a clickbait or a cache topic for this article. So I'm going to say, generate a cache topic for this article. So you can see that generated five I five topics, five cache topics for the article. Comprehensive car insurance 101, what you need to know. The ultimate guide to understanding comprehensive car insurance. But generated five. So you all, all you have to do is to select from any of these topics and add it as the title of your article. And once you've done that, you can publish it. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please like this video. Let's say you have an already existing article on your blog, on your blog, or you want to edit it, like maybe you want to edit the title. All you have to do is to copy the title. Let's say this is the title of, of your blog post. You've written it. May say you want it to be caching. Just copy it, go to ChatGPT and tell it to write 
Ekashi title, Ekashi topic for this, for this topic. So you write, so you can see it, write Ekashi title for this topic, compressive car insurance, more than just position. So you can see it's writing, writing a cashy article, a, a cashy title for, for this, for this title I just provided. And let's say you also want to generate FAQ for, for your article. Just copy the title of your article and ask ChatGPT generate FAQ for this topic. You put the topic just as I've done in this. Just as I've done in this. So the same way you do it. So I've shown you how to use. So I've shown you how to use. How to use ChatGPT to write an SEO article for your blog. And this when you, before you publish the article, remember to optimize it. All the necessary keywords which are missing in the article. And once you've done that, you publish your article. It's not advisable to just copy what ChatGPT has written and paste on your blog and publish it without editing. Without editing. Google is against using artificial intelligence writer for writing your blog posts. They are working on how to detect blog posts written with artificial intelligence. So that is why it is necessary that after using any artificial writer, edit it. So that is all on ChatGPT on how to use it to generate an SEO optimized article for your site. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.